Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs for almost uh, going 11 years now. Today I'd like to share Psalm 87 verses 1 to 7. And here is the Word of God. On the holy mount stands the city he founded. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwelling places of Jacob. Glorious things of you are spoken, O city of God, Selah. Among those who know me, I mention Rahab and Babylon. Behold, Philistia and Tyre with Cush. This one was born there, they say, and of Zion it shall be said. This one and that one were born in her, for the Most High himself will establish her. The Lord records as he registers the peoples, this one was born there, Sila. Singers and dancers alike say, All my springs are in you. Psalm 87, 1 to 7. And here's the poem I wrote, inspired by this psalm. The Lord establishes his dwelling place. O Lord, we thank you for choosing us to enter your dwelling place. Through the sacrifice of your son's life, we have the Holy Spirit in us. What an amazing, gracious love you gave us so we can reconcile with you. Help us to remember that our own bodies are the temples that you chose. Though we are still sinners, you elected us to serve and bring you glory. Make us thankful and be aware of this privilege to give you praise always. You have made your son, Jesus, as the head of your faithful ones. We cannot come to you on our own if we do not love and serve Christ. It is in your church that you gather all those who love your name, cover your holy people with protection so they can grow in faith. Establish us that your dwelling place will be incorruptible by this world. Let us be the salt and light as we hear, speak, live, and follow your holy word. Reflection. Has God established his dwelling place in your heart and mind? What are the manifestations of the stability of your faith in your life? And how are you the salt and light to others? I would say that um, it took a while for me to say that God has established his dwelling place in my heart and mind. Um, it, it was a long process and it's still an ongoing process, um, but it's been probably 11 years now since he has been um, establishing and building the foundation of my faith in, in my heart and in my mind. And the manifestation of the stability of this faith that he gave me is actually manifest in the changes that um, I have um, that I have been um, witnessing as God is changing me into a likeness that I could I couldn't even remember how I was before I I started to serve the Lord um, but it is amazing it's such an amazing thing that he has done for my life because I used to be so, there used to be so many idols in my life that he has um, um, called my attention to and now uh, he has given me the, the ability to discern whether things are coming from the evil one or uh, what is true. So I'm able to, because of the gift that he has given me to write every day for him for 11 years, and do all these blogs to testify to that miracle that he has done in my life and that he has made me his dwelling place because I won't be able to do this if it is not him who made me do it. So how am I salt and light of, to others? Uh, this is one way that I could uh, bring testimony to God's miracles in my life. Um, I was a traumatized I think we're all traumatized as as uh, human beings because uh, there are so many things that happen in our life that um, that probably have hurt us and that has 
um, made us not see our own image as God has made it. So that's traumatic in a way because we become fearful of so many things and we are not able to really live the lives that we need to live just as God has planned it to be. So I encourage you to look at uh, th this, examine this psalm because this psalm is saying that though uh, he chose Zion, but he ch there are many different kinds of people that went to Zion and that his, his gospel is open to everybody if they want to believe in him and that he could dwell in your hearts and your mind if you let him. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarz.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos for the Lord. Thanks for watching.